You know, the business is had to come in here. Got up at 2 20 a.m. 30 minutes ago, Pennsylvania time. It's 1 20 Louisiana time, 1 20 special time. So we go and see how this goes. This is just the beginning of the day. Wait till it continues. Got to go to work first. Only 50 degrees out. Wait till it's Louisiana weather. On our way to the food. Big in the fall colors. Don't see any of that down there. We are on our way to Louisiana. I cannot wait. You already know what the job does. It pushes you to go to the booth, baby. See you in a little bit. Trying to make the next move to be continued. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, this baby Thula. King baby Thula. At your finest in the studio with my boy Frank and the Lucky Dog. You know how we getting it. You know how it's going down. Down here in that dirty, dirty south is where we at right now. First stop since he made it down here. And you know we finna turn up all weekend long. So go ahead and get ready. Cause the party finna get started and we ain't stopping until he ready to go back home. One time your boy Ruta Real, man, real as NBR, man, holler with my nigga Frank the Lucky Dog, you did. Know what a real, real recognized real, man, hold it down at all times. <laughs> Yeah, you in the studio with your boy Ruta Real, man, the one and only, bro. Hot flame, hot spitter. Fuck with your boy Frank Ed, the lucky dog, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm just trying to come in and tell y'all niggas to stay out your emotions, bro. That's all you do. Keep it business and stay out your emotions, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look. We could chill and we could smoke it, pour four and I ain't trippin', you could roll it, but just stay out your emotions. To the max and yeah, I'm loaded and I'm strapped and if you fake, I'm gon' expose it, but just stay out your emotions. Foreign diamond when I'm floating, no excuses, being taken and you know it, but just stay out your emotions. Stay out your emotions. Stay out your emotions. Yeah. Look, ain't trying to make no new friends, I'm focused on the million Cause friends turn into foes, cause they get in they feelings You do better than them, then they get the feeling shitty Can't bear to see you do good, but I'm a fucking grizzly So if you timid, I'm diving in it until it's finished I pray to God they don't flinch, cause nigga, I'm trying to get it If it go down, you can find me hitting behind the semi Them hoes around, then I'm probably digging up in them bitches Ain't got no time for niggas with emotions, but grow some fucking Nuts. Get some hair to take some motion. Wipe your fucking nose and wash your ass and use the lotion. After all that, if you still mad, then you a hold then. Don't point the finger at me, cause I'm just trying to school you. Because I love you. If not, then nigga, I'll probably do you. Cause we gon' keep it cool, but I'm opening doors with exposing this whole shit. But please, nigga, stay out your emotions. Real. Shout out Frank of the Lucky Dog, man. Be our finest, rule the real. Keep your name. What up, man? It's your boy Young B, man. MOB. 
Fuck with my dog, Lucky Dog, man. Baton Rouge, we in the building, you heard me? Let's get it. What up, dog? It's your boy DJ Trey Mon and Mobi Entertainment. We outside Vapor Life. Rock with my dog, Frankie the Lucky Dog, baby. Yeah. Somebody getting lucky. The night is up on their Fridays, yeah. man. You know what it is. This day day, man. I'm out here fucking with Frank the Lucky Dog. You know what I'm saying? He been holding it down for Baton Rouge for a minute. You heard me? Yeah. Shit. I can remember back when I first started doing my rap thing, I ain't even no rapper no more, you heard me? I'm a full-time trapper now, I done cut it out rapping, but Frank is still be showing a nigga love, you know what I'm saying? He one of the few people who put Baton Rouge artists on the map who wasn't shit, you heard me? So, you know what I'm saying? We showing love to Frank the Lucky Dog. We fucking with him all the way to Baton Rouge 225, you heard me? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you live from these streets. The one and only Big Cheese the Outlaw, man. We on the ground in the Jigger City right now. Holding it down for Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I want to give major love to everybody across the world, and especially my player partner, Frankie, the lucky dog. Welcome, fam. Welcome. You meet people in life, man, and you never think you really run up on these people, man. I want to tell you about my partner, Frankie, the lucky dog, right now. I became familiar with him through his YouTube channel. I became familiar with him through his Facebook pages and his posts. I became familiar with him because he has an appreciation for artists from around the world, but especially the people from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He appreciates the music, he gets the talent that we display, and he spreads that to the world. No, let me say that again correctly. He spreads that and he shows his love and appreciation to the world. So, I wanna say he gave before he got paid. And you know what? Anybody who understands that principle, I support fully, 100%. You understand what I'm saying? Frankie, you didn't ask me to do this, but I'm going to say this to you. Hey, I read some stuff I'm not all right with. Y'all niggas fucked up, you heard me? But I want you to know it's love out here for Frankie, and we're going to hold him down no matter what he needs. Straight like that. Shout out to Frank Lucky Dog and that BR Van Rouge, you heard me? We at Vapor Life, man, you heard me? Good spot out here, good spot out here. Y'all need to come up, soak up some of the world out here, you heard me? All the way from A Town, from the West Coast, Cops, and everywhere. Come out here to Baton Rouge to rep this shit, you heard me? Gangster tracks, all the music, all the sounds, we have fun. And let me tell you something, Frank need to put the camera on him, because Frank up in this bitch chip. Already now. Just randomly checking in, it's hard to do it like this, but yeah, out here, 24 hours and like 25 minutes up, straight, you know, just gotta enjoy Louisiana to the fullest, you know, utilize every minute since it's so hard to just get free time these days, it's crazy, crack, crazy. Welcome to October 14th, day two, it's Saturday. Pretty interesting yesterday, but you know what? The Calhoun that I am, we gotta rise above our incidents and you know, anything that goes on. That's why I'm the fearless Calhoun I am today. Yeah, we rolling. What's up, it's your boy Frankie the Lucky Dog here, kicking it with my boy Camouflage, you know? Just riding through the streets of the numbers I call 225 and the 25 speed limit. You know? Just um, attempting to get away from the world when you believe in yourself more and just, you know, like, get to a limit where it's like, you know, you gotta take it to that next level. And that's what it is with going back route. You know what I'm saying? 10 years strong of Louisiana. It's 10 years and three days now celebrated my 10 year celebration on October 11th, just this Wednesday. And, you know, just doing what I'm doing all the time, every month, straight, haven't missed a month, you know. Just gotta, that's why I'm legendary, you know, because of my consistency. I asked my boy Dodo, what is it? It's my consistency, you know, and my work at the gun believe. What's up, man? It's Kaka, you heard me? Oh, yeah, fucking with that music shit lately, you heard me? I'm finna drop a little tape with 
with uh Chip the Ruler. I'm checking out my boy Frankie Lucky Dog. You heard me interview. You heard me. Yeah, straight off Perkins. Frankie Lucky Dog, aka Frank Calhoun, Camouflage. So, what's life like in this October 2017? Life a beautiful thing, bro. A exactly. Beautiful, very beautiful as motherfucking thing. Just out here in Baton Rouge, dog. Fuck with my dog, Frankie the Lucky Dog. My motherfucking dog. You better not play with it. Yeah. And they gotta know not to play with me. You know, they, they attempt. It's like, why? You know? <laughs> they don't get no more supportive than this. Me. That's your answer right there. It don't get more consistent than this, me. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, a 10 year day, uh, 10 year thing uh, with Frank like uh, looking dog. I mean, 10 year, three days to make the day, you know what I'm talking about? So if you a bad one, always a bad one entertainer, and you know Frank the Lucky Dog, but you ain't been out yet, bro. You ain't been out yet. The top to the smallest people out here know who Frank the Lucky Dog is, though. Yep, over thousands. Tens and thousands of that. Huh, yeah. I can't imagine. <laughs> Hey, bro, I be cool enough, bro. I be over there, um, over there by, um, South Choctaw, 1935, with my cousin Jam. Cooling for the most part, three to five days of the week. You can catch me out there. Uh, other than that, you know, I just be a uh, low-key duck dog, you know what I'm saying, doing my camouflage thing. Yeah, how's the music coming along? It's, it's great, bro. I'm, uh, I'm waiting on DJ Tremont right now. I don't know what's taking him I so think long. I seen him yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. I know it takes him long, but um, yeah, uh, he's supposed to have host my uh my mixtape, my LP uh whatnot. But yeah, that's the only thing I'm really waiting on. I'm, after that, I'm gonna press up a couple of CDs and uh throw uh these high schools um students a couple of other other uh, other, other CDs and whatnot. Yeah, talk about the CD you got coming out. Yeah, uh, name of it is Plank Road Dream. You know, if you from Baton Rouge and you don't know Plank Road and you know you don't understand that concept. You know, it, 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 I don't know what to say about you, but Plank Road Dreams is more so, you know, um, well, majority of, you know, my time in Baton Rouge have, not, I wouldn't say it's been spent, but I'm more so in the sense of, uh, like being out here in Baton Rouge, like a street that you always gonna be on, you know what I'm saying, just being from here, you know what I mean, like you, you, you gonna be out there on Plank if you, you know what I'm saying, in the yeah. streets or something like that. Yeah, I was on there quite a bit, and it's, it's funny, that road, like, the last trip, I met GOC Flag Street and them there, and those dudes got me away from the toxic friendship I had in Pennsylvania. Like, Plank Road, there you go. Like, June 24th, it's crazy. Right, my uh, my, my uncle got that shop on um, Wood Road right there, by Winburn, you know, been there for good 15, 20 years. Lived right there off of Midway, uh, with my cousin Jam. So, I mean, Plank Road, bruh. Like if you if you trying to hustle, trying to get your grind on, bruh, and you ain't never been on Plank Road to do nothing, that Daniel, you know what I'm saying, bro? I can't believe you out here. You know, I just can't believe it. Yeah, it's a big it. ass road. Yeah, it's probably like um, if it ain't if between Plank and Airline, that's the, the two, you know what I'm saying, main streets in Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you know, Airline more for for the the rich folks and Plank more for the hood folks. You know? Yeah. Sounds like a plan, you know, I'll be supporting it, you know, showing love to the track. You got produced by Q Red, What Up Ready, with dude I just uh, left, uh, KK, Kaka. Kaka. Yeah, Kaka. What's that, Kaka? I see your bot. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Q Red on the track, he did uh, two tracks on there. He did uh, that What Up Ready, and he did uh, uh, Bitch You Ugly. Huh. Uh, that, uh, that What Up Ready, got a, uh, got a verse from Ready, my producer out in California, he got it right now. So I'm uh, waiting uh, for him to send it to me to, uh, to throw that on there. You know, Ready, he, he with the extra extra mess, you know what I'm saying? So when y'all hear it, you're like, okay, that, that's Ready. That, that's, you know, yeah, that, that, was, that was Ready with that one. But uh, just, just wanted to shout him out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, him leaving the earth and whatnot and uh, being such a, um, uh, 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 influence, I won't say yeah. a positive influence, but it's a uh, influence on others in Baton Rouge and the whole culture of music and whatnot. Uh, decided to, you know, name it what I'm ready, you know, and then Q Red made the beat, you know, it just all went together. But, uh, who else we got on there? We got, um, we got, uh, EQ the Misfit on a song called Flow. We got, um, got, uh, yeah, I love right now. Got Lakeith, Good Grief. He got, um, 
He got a song with uh, Levy Dog with me on there called uh, Ganja. Huh. Got uh, Nikaka on that bitch too. Supposed to, uh, you know, get a feature. I'm not, I'm not sure who I want feature on that bitch, but it gotta be, you know what I'm saying, one of them smoking artists that just love motherfucking smoking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. no bullshit. Straight motherfucking smoking. Yeah, like man. a castle, like chimney, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, let me see what else I got on that bitch. Who else I got? Oh. Mm -mm -mm. No, not him. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, man, my head all over the place right now, bro. But if I forgot you, you know what I'm saying? Don't be offended. You know what I'm saying? Don't be offended. Don't be offended. Don't be one of them pussy niggas that get all in feelings good. A nigga ain't shot you out, bro. That's some whole ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas do forget. Especially when that camera hits you in the face, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't used to being in front of that camera. My life lived in real life, you know what I'm saying? It ain't on, on camera 24-7. Uh, but, uh, you know, I ain't knocking it neither. So, if that do happen, you know what I'm saying? That's how it go. Yeah, definitely, man. What I was going to say about that, like, you know, just the fact that, um, you know, we've been connected with each other for years now, you know, stellar connection you know glad it's come in person and right. you know like what do you got to say to those that you know trying to be like say like take advantage of or attempt to fuck me over hey fuck they pussy ass motherfuck they pussy ass whoever the fuck you is or whoever the fuck you become or think to do or become or uh, any of that shit man that's pussy nigga you know motherfucking what's pussy how the fuck you fuck over frank man pussy yeah exactly yeah, I don't like pussy shit, bro. Yeah. If you're gonna be a gangster out here, you know what I'm saying? Be a gangster, but if you're gonna be a pussy, then be a fucking pussy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do pussy ass shit like that, bro. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. Right, bro, if, if you're gonna, you know what I'm saying, do something to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Do somebody, do, do it to somebody that you know, you know what I'm saying, up there with you, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it to nobody, you know what I'm saying, that you know very much fucking well, you know what I'm saying? Ain't out here for that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't cut like that to, to be on that no shit like that, you know, that's pussy. Exactly, yup. Yeah, I'm just here to support, you know. I ain't got nothing with nobody, so, you know, I'm just here to show my lucky dog love. Now, why ain't anybody moving on a green light here? You can you know? write uh, in a meeting and hit that turn around the light right now. Okay. Yeah, bro, I don't get certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Well, I get it, but I don't get it, you know what I'm saying? Like... I don't, I don't understand how to be a pussy, you know what I'm saying? But I, I understand why it's okay to be a pussy to some people. Yeah. All pussies get fucked, though. No matter what the bitch look like. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you see all kind of bitches with babies. Yeah, that make that, uh, you see, like, ugly bitches with babies. You see fat bitches, skinny bitches, broke bitches, rich bitches. You see all motherfucking bitches with babies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, all pussies get fucked. All of them. Yeah. And earlier we was talking about, like, it's like kind of like a, a jump in, like, halfway through the subject kind of thing. Like, going right here. Oh, yeah. So you're smart. Like, we was talking about how, you know, it was around when me and me in the parking lot was, you know, taking off. So now I'm going to ask you, like, a lot of people, like, done went they separate ways or it's hard to get a hold of this one or whatever. Like... What do you think causes that? Like where people are just hard to find? Um, that's a good question. I mean, everybody in life got something going on with themselves, you know what I'm saying? Whether, you know, it's stress or, you know, any type of, you know, personal, you know what I'm saying, things going on. So, as far as getting in touch with people and, and staying in cohesive with each other and whatnot, I mean, I don't think that's even fucking possible, you know what I'm saying? Unless you just got the, you know, that best you know, group of people together. You know, I, I've yet to see but one group in Baton Rouge, uh, the YG niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them, you know, uh, like they, they've been clicked up, you know what I'm saying, since fucking Liberty Boys, you know what I'm saying? They still, you know what I'm saying, running together, tight together. But I don't really be seeing that shit too much out here in Baton Rouge, bro. Like most niggas, you know what I'm saying, either they separate, some niggas go jump from dick to dick, teen to teen, you know what I'm saying, some whole shit. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see Baton Rouge, you know what I'm saying, doing that too much. And it, it's, it's more so not necessarily on purpose, but you know, people just be having shit going on with their lives and stuff like that, what cause them to feel some type of way. And then once a nigga get in their feelings, you know what I'm saying? Once a nigga get in their feelings, man, bro, it's so fucking hard to get them bitches out. Yeah, and like, I'm gonna just state it how I feel like it. Like, I feel like when, say, the rappers and all that get mixed up with them, 
certain relationships where they got the, the kids and all that. I feel like that throws it off a lot. Yeah, most definitely. Shout out to Lil Kalani, you know, my little baby. But uh, yeah, bro, like um, once you have a, a child, you know, your life change, you know. Uh, distinctly, especially if you can be in that child life for the first two years, which is the most important time in any human being life, period. So once you have a child, you know, if, unless you got like a, a, a complete solid, you know, uh, foundation behind you, and not, not just a girl, you know what I'm saying, like you have your family, her family, you know what I'm saying, helping and pushing and, you know, being support, you know, you, you got to sit down, you know what I'm saying, and take care of your business and your family first. You know, you ain't got to, and you can pit fans and people first and whatnot, but at the end of the day, who are you going to, you know what I'm saying, be, be looking at in the mirror when it comes to your family being fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's why like I've been holding off on myself. I'm putting my career before everything. That's why you see me. Yeah, sure. but you ain't got no kids though, huh? Yeah, no. Right, right, right. Yeah, so like that's why I'm holding off on everything to focus more on my career, you know, and still try to say get the job where I went to school for and you know, just do whatever I do on the side, like, you know, documentaries and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all this, I'm gonna tell Frankie, so y'all can't say, or he can't say, he did not get told this. Frankie, wait till you between 32 and 34 before you have your first child, dog. <laughs> Why? Because you wanna get your life, you know what I'm saying? You wanna do all the shit you wanna do, you know what I'm saying? You wanna travel, you wanna come to Baton Rouge all the time, you know what I'm saying? You can't just get up and go. So, you know what I'm saying? Do everything you gotta do right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Live mm -hmm. that life. Go travel. Go, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, whoever, you know, all the shit you wanna do. Then when you're 32, 34, when you're more settled, you know what I'm saying? Life is calm, cool. Then you have a child, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm not fortunate to um, be that old and have a child, which I wish I could have waited, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, my, my daughter, my biggest blessing in life, so I'm not upset about it. It just, you know, life just pauses and, and yeah. focus on that more. It's kind of like with the job. Like, I was doing my video countdowns on certain things, reviews. Like, it slowed down because the job came. I didn't think anybody was going, like, recognize me. And it was, like, crazy because, like, you know, we talking, like, let's see, 36 and 6. 43 months ago today, I got the phone call, you know, that they was going to hire me. So it's like, you know, it's crazy that like that came out of nowhere because I didn't believe it would happen. And now I'm $80,000 richer. And like the fact that I'm still trying to complete my stuff. It ain't going nowhere. It's just, it's really slow when you're working like 50 hours a week, six days a week, and you got videos and other stuff on the side too. All right, bro, motherfuckers don't know how good Frankie is with them numbers, bro. Yeah. See how quick they need to count them bitches? Like, that nigga be counting them fucking numbers, though. Yeah, like, bar, bar codes, like, with the munchkins, you know, like, 8813340033078813340059128813340052 <laughs> And, yeah, like, you know, that's just what you gotta do. Like, it's just gotta come straight from the head. It's like, we gotta go with some gold, though. Yeah. You hear me? To be continued. <laughs>
because you can't sell your music on iTunes and shit if you're using the beat from YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You got to go buy those beats. You got to get the track outs and get them mastered and stuff. Like, it's a long process, man. Where can I? Where can I? It's a long process, man, but um, I'm just sticking through it, man. Taking the shit step by step, day by day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't rush, you can't rush. You can't rush nothing, you know what I'm saying? Shit takes time, but it'll all be worth it at the end. And I don't doubt myself because I make a lot of good music, so I know that I have a, a chance and an opportunity to actually make it, you know what I'm saying? Like, to be at the top with those other artists, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but right now I'm in Baton Rouge. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? Shellwood, I'm in Shellwood right now. <laughs> and, you know, it's crazy out here. Homicides, like, the murder rate is going up crazy right now, you know? So you just gotta be safe out here and, and be on your P's and Q's and calculate every step you take, cause, <sighs> Niggas be here today and gone tomorrow, man. We lost a lot of good people this year. Um, I lost my brother, King Joe. Um, we lost Zoe. We lost, we just lost G-Money. We lost Austin on the track. Like, people that's important out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was making making a way, trying to pave a way for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, to lose people like that, like, shit crazy, you know? That just let me know that shh, I can leave tomorrow. I can leave today. Nigga can pass by and shoot me right now. But, you know, I got faith in God, so. Same here. I don't think there's nothing like that gonna happen to me because I could have been dead, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still here, so he got me here for a purpose. Yeah, I believe in my consistency. Yeah. I, I don't believe in, like, you know, it just ending out of nowhere. Cause it's been going, like, decades now, decades and almost two, you know? Right, and you you been you been supporting artists from down here for a long time. I remember seeing your like seeing your uh, the Franklin Lucky Dog the um, the uh, picture when, on YouTube when the little dog buck. It used to be funny to me. I was like, that shit funny, but I liked it because you was supporting. And it's like you, I actually thought you was from down here. To be honest. I thought you was somebody from down here for the longest. And when I found out that, you know what I'm saying, you was way somewhere else and you, you travel a lot too. So that's good, you know what I'm saying? That's how I know you going you gonna be big too. Like fearlessness and you know, just dealing with the jobs yeah. that have pushed me to, you know, make the the decisions. And know? that's what people don't understand, like you gotta you got to travel, you know what I'm saying? You got to move around, you got to network, you got to meet a lot of people. So you got a lot of love down here. You link, like, it's, you come down here and you got love. Like, people going to link up with you because you, you you support, you know what I'm saying? You've been supporting for the longest one. You support people who probably just not starting off and probably feel like, man, I ain't going to make it. Then you'll come out the blue with a whole video yeah. with they shit like, oh, man, that's what's up, who this, you know what I'm saying? And when they say somebody from a whole nother state, it makes them feel good about themselves, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of shit does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this not drink neither. <laughs> it's Kool Aid. Good Kool Aid. <laughs> 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 but shit, any questions, man? Whatever you want to uh, ask. I guess uh, we talked about the music, we talked about me. Um, I'm working with new producers too. Um, Dez. He's from um, New Iberia. He's he's dope. Um, and Greedy Money, Greedy Money. He um, he produced a lot of my new music that's on my new tapes. He also produced the Hit It with the Fox song. Dez, he produced the song Eat, which is a video I just shot um last week with Twan. I think that song now might. I did, I took a different route with that video, like, I did something different, kind of funny, you know what I'm saying? Because when people shoot videos down here, they don't try to be creative, yeah, they they're just... they're saying, like, one lane, they're one D. Getting like, in front you know. of camera with wave guns and, you know, that kind of shit. I actually try to do something funny, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be... Oh, my mom seen you in the shopping cart. Yeah, yeah. they right, that's the video. Like, oh, boy. It's funny, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be different, you got to stand outside the box, you know? 
and I actually had fun that day, you know. I can't wait to see how the video come out. But, yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah. What up, Razy Ray, Shop with Ken? Uh, Razor, man, my, shout out to my big bro, Razor Ray, man. He actually got a baby shower tomorrow. He got a baby on the way. Okay. So congrats to him. I, well, I, I would hit him up because he need to... Yeah, he's like, let me know when you're in town. I might have to hit him up for you and see if he want to do one with you. But, about where Ken at? But he, uh, he got a baby on the way. He, uh, I be trying to keep keep him focused too because, you know, everybody, we all have our points, our time when we be like, we can't do it or yeah. we want to give up, but I mean, like now nah, we too talented, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know someone at my job that's like trying to still be like super young and she's 50. Oh. I deal with her every day. Uh -huh. Not to mention your street sign has like her name. <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> <Good thing. clears throat> but yeah, man. Uh, Ken, he he's still doing this thing. He's taking care of his kids and shit. Um, that's my... I got a lot of love for him, you know what I'm saying? We, we probably don't see eye to eye all the time, but, you know, that's, the, uh, that's my day one, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know, we all grown right now trying to just do our thing and maintain and take care of a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got problems. But we getting through it, man. We all going to make it sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. <laughs> Man, what sound, man? Stro Simon, you hear me? Follow me, Stro Simon, been outside on that ground. Look, I'm out here in that wood in BR. My dog came all the way from Pennsylvania fucking with the slimes, and we fucking with that. I'm dropping my shit today, matter of fact. Fuck it. That's a present to my dog. I know it's your birthday, huh? My birthday was the last trip. Uh oh, uh, shit, so fuck we it. We celebrate the years of being connected with Louisiana. Yeah, so we gonna do it B.I. like that. Fuck it, I'm gonna get that bitch to the internet, to the world today. And that's how we rockin', you hear me? Frank the lucky dog, you hear me? He been rockin' with a nigga. Rest in peace, soldier Hirsch, you hear me? I gotta say that. <laughs> you already know, D motherfucking soldier. Crime scene representing, fucking with Frank and the Lucky Dog. We linked up last time when he came out, y'all. Got some heat for him. I was supposed to send him the music, but I got you this time before you leave, you hear me? You know how we do it. In the back of that wood. Way from New Orleans, hold it down for that wood, you hear me? And we rocking like that, man. You know, got some videos coming, got some singles on the way. I ain't gonna drop no mixtape yet. I ain't gonna say all that, but got some singles and some videos on the way. Look out, you hear me? D Soldier, baby. All right, I'm roughing. AK Ruffle Glass and I'm fucking with my dog Frankie the Lucky Dog, you hear me? I know Frankie upcoming, I know Frankie up next though, I know that. This is the life, you know what I'm saying? YB, the Lucky Dog, the Calhoun, you know. Uh -huh. Everybody in Louisiana, we just, you know, straight up holding it down and just living the celeb life, right? right. That's right, YB done said it, so you already know. Man, I just dropped the tape last night, about 8 o'clock last night. Shit, um, see, I got a, everybody know about my No Gravity mixtape, but I had another mixtape called Fuck the Fame came out after that. But my Instagram got deleted exactly the night before that tape came out, so nobody really know about it. But, uh, this the, I ain't gonna say the sequel to it, because the sequel come out next month on the 11th, but it's a 1.5 version of it, see what I'm saying? And normally I do a, a lot of auto tune. Everybody know I don't write shit. I don't write that. I just did 118 songs in like seven weeks, if that. This tape I just dropped last night, shit, it was good, Tad. The, look. Gas, yeah, I, yeah, look, look, the little tape I dropped last night, shit. I did that bitch in like two days, so shit. You know, mix mastered everything. And, like I say, I got the, the real fuck the fame too finna drop next month on the 11th, though. You know, the day after my little boy's birthday. Yeah. So what you be what you be rapping like? What's the label? What's the? I mean, I'm doing my own thing. Like you know, everybody think that AMG shit I be hollering that that's still from my old label I was fucking with. When really it's arrogant music group. It's not ambition, money, and gratitude. Like they're my dudes. Like I fuck with them dudes, but I'm at that arrogant music. Like that's my own shit. You know, that's some shit me and my brother started. And forever dumb, forever dumb is just another wave. It's a, it's more of a local wave than the radio wave I be on. See what I'm saying? And, felt, and, and fuck the fame, just the movement to the shit, you know? Fuck the fame, just the movement, that's all. That's all that is. That's what's up. What else you got to say to the world? 
Oh, shit, man. I got 400 more songs y'all ain't heard yet. <laughs> and the bitches finna drop, like, back to back. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it ain't no takeover. I'm finna campaign. You know what I'm saying? It's something tough. It's a whole different ball game. I ain't gonna lie, like shit, I, don't, I ain't no better than nobody else, but shit, uh, I work harder than a lot of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? And that's some shit, anybody like uh, YB or anybody who really personally know me like YB now, better tell you, don't nobody work as hard as I work, if not himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I ain't doing no producing right now, I'm not doing no engineering right now, I ain't doing nothing but straight features. That's it. It's over. <laughs> Yeah, what else you got for me? Because what you got going on, that's what I want to know. I'm just grinding, you know what I'm saying? Just holding it down for the Louisiana peeps. You got to, you know? Because there's music today. I hope it's there tomorrow, you know? Like, we got to keep doing this shit and just keep staying on our grind. And, you know, shit ain't going to stop, you know? That's, that's what it do. That's what it is. That's what it be. With YB. <laughs> Y'all heard that dude, that dude, Demarcus Brooks? I've been hearing about this he just, He just posted my video. For real? Shit, shit. Yeah. yeah, you know what it is, man. Why be for initials, man? Post it up in the hood, my hood, Sherwood, you know? Um, Y'all make sure y'all go check out my music that I do have out now, my mixtapes. Uh, I have, I just dropped Don't Die Wondering, which is out everywhere on every big music outlet, even iTunes, Google Play, Tidal, uh, Spinrella, YouTube, my mixtapes, you know, uh, and I also got Self Investment, which is also out on all those same sites. You can go search up y.b.4, F-O-R, initials, and it should pop up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all check out my camp, you know what I'm saying? Dirty De Niro Band Camp. You know, uh, which includes artists such as me, um, Razor Ray, uh, and my brother King Joe, who, who you know, he's resting in peace right now. Uh, and also, um, Looney and Jew, you know what I'm saying? As for now, that's it right now, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? If I could help somebody, I would, you know what I'm saying? But as for now, I'm trying to put myself in position so I could put my team in position too, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if I feel like you're talented and you raw, I'll fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? Looking out and, you know. But y'all follow me on Instagram at underscore f o r underscore initials, I-N-I-T-I-A-L-S. Follow me on Twitter at capital C O Z Y capital B O Y Z underscore Cozy Boys. Um Snapchat F Y N I C underscore Y B. I'll be changing I'm be changing that name on that though to Y B for initials though, you know. But yeah, man. And here tuning in with my dog Frank and the Lucky Dog, man, from Baton Rouge to New York, man. We you know what I'm saying, we getting it in. Y'all make sure y'all fuck with that. What's happening with it? This Taz, and I'm chilling with Frankie, the lucky dog. I appreciate you for showing Baton Rouge's love, you know. Finna hit up Max 94.1. About to meet up with Boo Milton. Boo Milton always appreciated the lucky dog, so it's only right that the lucky dog gonna come through for him, you feel me? Here we go. Huh? Um, Scott Ennis. Scooby Doo voice. Who <laughs> Milton? What's up? What's up, man? We're checking in right here with Frankie the Lucky Dog. We're here at Max 941, getting it in. Boo Milton, we about to go in. Let's get it. Max 94.1, number one for hip hop and R&B. What's up? It's Boo Milton. I'm back in the building. It's the nightlife where we get it in each and every Saturday from 7 p.m. all the way to 12 a.m. You know, we turning up all night. Max 94.1, we getting it in, man. Hey, a lot going on this week, this month, man. Max 94.1 putting you in the building to all your favorite concerts like the Jay-Z 444 tour that's touching down in New Orleans Thursday, November the 9th. 
Yeah, man. So look, if you want tickets to go to go see Jay-Z, all you have to do is log on to Max941.com. That's M-A-X-9-4-O-N-E.com. And you could possibly be in that thing to go see Jay-Z. I already got my tickets. I'm being that thing. So, you know, I want to see you in there with me. I'm trying to have a good time with you right here on the number one for hip-hop and R&B. Keep it locked. It's Max941. Let's go. Yo, what's good, man? It's Boo Milton. I'm checking in for Frankie the Lucky Dog, man. Louisiana legend, I see you. Hey, we keeping it rolling, man. Look, we got a lot going on here at Max 94.1. We finally got him in Baton Rouge. We finally got him at Max 94.1. We about to make it happen. Let's go. Whoa, this your boy Wayne Reek. More music coming soon, man. Mixtape coming soon. Two options. I'm here with Boo Milton, baby, from Max 94.1. Check it out with your boy, Frankie the Lucky Dog. By the age of 17, I went to jail trying to hustle. If that's your dog, then you love your dog. Still remain loyal, they say. You don't have friends, but keep your enemies close to fit on live here. Baton Rouge, bumping boosts, it was the motive. I got two phones, feeling like gangsters, whipping a Honda. Phone doing numbers, chain zone. I'm feeling like black youngster. Money be calling, my girl should be calling, just me and my watch I'm gonna call it. I'm grinding, I'm grinding, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. Been a long time running. Remember them nights and them lights, they was off. Roses on ceilings, I still gotta mention. No pockets to piss and no wind to go throw up the cars. The money can't really go blow. Bands in my pocket, I'ma walk like this. Put some diamonds in my mouth so I can talk like this. Feeling like my fans started with me straight from the bottom. And my city still hurting, so you know that I got them. They say money don't make you happy, but it's causing more problems. So many nights that I was jugging, but it's all worth a dollar on the daily. Your music sick. Who you sign with now? You gonna always be in. Independent when your album gonna drop You gonna make it, give it your all Or your music gonna flop I ain't got a roll that mean no time I'm on my way to the top You don't know what it take to live a life like this Give me the pen, let me write right quick Hold on, I'm gonna hit you back <laughs> Why you lie like that? Feeling like school to how I'm getting the pet Why ain't yeah. <laughs> you know. Check it out the Frank and R&B. Shout out to my dog, Frankie the Lucky Dog. He's in the capital city right now visiting from up north, man. Ain't the biggest blog site. It's going down right here on Mix 94.1. Let's go. Finna meet up with my fucking favorite person in the world, Dodo. Oh my God. Here we go. Dream about to come true. What up? This is Dodo checking in. My boy, Frankie the Lucky Dog. Made it on down here to BR once again. Oh, man. It's so much I can say right now in this little, you know, little short period of time, but you know, I've been uh, messing with Frank for like about seven years now. And uh, you know, to say he's not from nowhere near these areas, he's been tuned in, tapped in with the Baton Rouge underground music scene. And you know, he picked up on a few of the things I was working on, projects I put out. And uh, shit, we've been kicking it ever since. Oh man, you know, Life period is uh, you know, a little up and down situation and you know this music is really some bullshit but uh, it is what it is and sometimes you need people to keep you going and motivated because you know it's a lot of fake shit and the whole industry fake as fuck but you know it is what it is but uh, you know Frank called me every now and then you know I might be down just on some life shit. Or vice versa, and then we just sit there and we might be on the phone for 30, 45 minutes, not even realize it, just kicking real shit to each other, you know. He uplift me. That's what's been going on with me and Frank, man. A real down earth dude about his business, you know. Some people might think certain things, but man, I do 100 times 10. All right, so Frank the Lucky Dog, aka Frank Calhoun, kicking in here with my boy. 
Dodo, what it do? Fucking, fucking millionaire, my favorite <laughs> dude right here. Like, this is my favorite dude. Oh, Notice man, I support. ain't a millionaire, man. Might not be a millionaire, but I'm, I'm a millionaire at heart. Yeah, I'm bringing him to that, you know, area as I grow. Because, you know, when I first connected with you, you know, I wasn't on the level I'm at now. Right. You know, so I want to ask you, like, from, say, 2010 to 2017, like, how did I become, like, what made me have more success? Consistent, man. Just stay consistent, you know. Never stop working, you know. I know sometimes we talked and you, you felt like just saying fuck it, and, but you stuck with it. So, man, it's one thing, you know, like, the only way you can fail at something is quit. Yeah. You know? And you ain't never gonna do that because <laughs> I'm the backbone to my boy right here. So as long as I'm eating, he eating. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah. We're gonna get it, dog. And speaking of that, you know, like a lot of times when I be doing things is through numerology, I guess because of my Asperger's syndrome being autistic and all that. So, like, you know, I'll give you a perfect example of this. So, so Dodo, so when your birthday is. Uh, January the 20th. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, here's this. So, I just <laughs> threw some, but... So, change up. So, so it's January the 20th, so what's those numbers? 120. And what's this? Damn. What is that? 120. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I even got, like, the change for you, too. You know, like, got your birth year change it's fallen everywhere but you know it's all good some of it is somewhere in the car here there's your change to the birth year you know <laughs> we we do this shit crazy. yeah we yeah. do this through numerology yeah man y'all might want to you know google numerology if you don't know how to spell it i hope you got a smartphone <laughs> they can do it for you i ain't gonna do it but uh yeah <laughs> check out numerology some yeah. deep shit me and frank are always on it yep yeah I'd be helping dude out, you know, through that. And, you know, Dodo just being, you know, like, throughout the years, great rapper, producer, person, videographer, you know, everything. Just, like, it's, like, talent that recycles itself as, like, infinity. Uh, it, like, it generates infinity, success, cash, whatever it is to me, for you, you know? Right, right. Yeah. yeah, man, uh, y'all need some, you know, I've been, I've been chilling on the music scene, but, uh, you know, engineering, video work, production, I didn't work with everybody, the best of the best that, you know, came down from Baton Rouge, you know, so, yeah. just holler at me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to get it back cranking, Frank, you know, it's been a long little hiatus, but, yeah, with you... I'm going to do it for you, bro. Yeah, I, was yeah. out of it. I was out of it. You motivated me to get back in it, man. Yeah, I done a, I got some shit coming for him because I feel like, you know, I got to do something, you know, got to give him opportunities. And it's like, you know, like same thing with the, you know, money. I just, you know, showed you right there, you know, like it's we got to support our artists. We got to let them continue. And, you know, there's music today. It might not be tomorrow. So got to just make sure, you know, we stay in alive. That's some real shit. Yeah. That's some real shit, bro. Yeah. So, you know, I going to keep holding my dog down <laughs> till you know, the end, you know. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah, man. I'm glad you made it down, man. Yeah. Hopefully around January I'll be headed out oh, your yeah, way. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be getting my dog up there. You know, we gonna be fucking partying our ass. So. Shit, yeah. Yeah, shit, yeah. So stay tuned for that, cause it's coming before you know it. So once again, this your boy Frank Lucky Dog, aka Frank Calhoun, and the fucking coolest dude on the planet is. Toto. Yeah, <laughs> say it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's my fucking boy oh, for my yeah. Freshest dude, you know. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah.
from city to city, state to state. Everywhere I roam, man, Dodo's so cold. Got hoes calling my phone, asking for Dodo. I bet her once now, she begging for some Odo. Lurking through your city, just blocking. Rims glossing, speakers knocking. It's a cold world, but you a cool cat. Lay back, relax, and just max. From the east to the west to the nitty, got everybody looking like still ain't ready. I'm so cold like the cores on ice. Plus I stay cold like a wedding with the rice. Fresh jeans on with a Louis red. White polo seat. Is you feeling that? I love you, girl. She like the look, but please don't trip, man. Listen to the hook. Which way are we going? Okay. Fucking shit to me, but Dodo with the flash. It's what you work hard for, you know? Hey, how you doing like this? Hey, Indiana mama told her boss to like that, like that. going on it's boo on the track fucking with my dog frankie the lucky dog you know what i'm saying and you with yo what's going on it's boo on the track um fucking with my dog frankie the lucky one you heard me um just my dog yours truly right here on the track you know what i'm saying we putting together something great right now you know what i'm saying we're in the lab machine three right here if you ain't got it you ain't producing right now you know what i'm saying that's just all to it you know um, yeah, we live from the motherfucking the skillet right now. You heard? Son of a bitch! <laughs> you and the Margaret shit! This is my boy Gandodo in the building. About to go live like Slab. I'm on point like Baraka Deep Sharp. Fatality on the beat when 
when I eat. Fatality on your freak when I see. That's right. You can have a back, throw a back like Raiden. No memory card. I'm not saving. Yeah, I fucking have right. Combat in 94. I grab a stick, better stack. I'ma take it. <laughs> We send to be balling. That's what Dodo be saying. <laughs> fucking Dodo. That's Dodo for you. That's why I think he's fucking one of the sickest ever. Celeb life, baby. Fucking right, fucking right. Woo woo! I only pressed it twice! I won 50! I only pressed it twice! Fifty dollar. I only hit it twice again. Woo-woo. Thirty-two down. Look at that dodo. Look at it. Woo! With dodo. <laughs> Making that dodo. Yeah, buddy. Get into Trying to make my next move. Man, what's up, man? It's your boy Gus. Make my beats. Checking in with Frankie the Lucky Dog, man. Finally. He always coming down here and don't never holler at me. I'm like, man, what's up with that? I had to jump in his DM, ask him what's going on, bruh. Thought you wasn't kicking it with me. Thought you ain't fuck with me. What's up, man? Oh, man, I'll tell you one thing, you be really, really tuned in and showing a lot of love to the BR scene, man. I really like that, and I mean, you always show me love, especially since I holler at you. It's like, man, I mean, you probably been following me, probably been kicking it on Twitter since 10 years ago, feel like. I don't know, man, you've been rocking with me for a long time, bro, so I'm privileged to have you over here, man. And you say you've been up all night? Man, I've been up all night grinding, 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 grinding. Trying to finish this project that I'm uh, I'm submitting some beats for. They've been on me and on me and on me. And I'm like, you know what? Why they on me and begging for it? Let me give it to them. I'm trying to figure out what was I looking for. Yeah, it's a 24-7 grind, man. I'm in this mug all day and night. This is my prime time job. This is it. Ain't no... 9 to 5 after this. This is 9 to 9. Huh. 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we outside. At the antidote.com. The site. The nerdy bird one, too. We here. This is what's inside. I just thought of it.
Yeah, man, you ain't got to be a million dollar nigga. You ain't got to be a half a million dollar nigga, man. You could be playing with 20000 If you manage this shit right, you're going to feel good at night. Yeah. Being able to come home and go churn and, you know, as long as you pay your bills, man, you got to have the most expensive shit, man. I have the opportunity to sit down with my boy Lucky Dog right here. Frank is an awesome, awesome supporter of Baton Rouge music. He really represents and respects the culture. And he takes a lot of his time to come from home, and it's not a short drive, to show everybody out here love. So go ahead and tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you're doing right here now in the South. All right, I'm originally from Long Island, New York. I live in Northeast PA and came through Baton Rouge for the third time this year, third time overall, because October 11th just recently marked the 10 year anniversary of being connected with Louisiana Peeps. Oh, so good. 10 years, you know. Congratulations. You know? Now, coming down and being connected with Louisiana, what is it for you that keeps bringing you back? What do you like? Oh, uh, so just trying to meet up with everybody, and it's just like, you know, the way life is now. It's like we gotta, you know, support all our artists and all that, because there's music today, and who knows if they'll be there tomorrow, tomorrow, you know? Like, so that's like one of my new, like, you know, lines that I'm coming up with, because, like, it's true. Like, I don't want to see people quit and all this, or have trouble getting their life together, right. getting their shit together, you know? So, like, we gotta just promote and support these artists and keep them going no matter how old you are, because you gotta be young at all times. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love that perspective. I love the ideology, understanding that what we think and how we feel keeps us young. Yeah, consistency and hard work ethic and perseverance, motivation, gotta have it all. And all day, every day. Now, I see you all the time, Lucky, with this mic in your hand. You always keep a camera. Tell everybody what it is that you kind of do behind the scenes for local artists. Well, I do CD reviews. I do live CD reviews out in the field. I'll do interviews, you know, doing these documentaries, you know, here and there. Do uh, my own tri-weekly playlist every three weeks. You know, I have my own kick daily countdown. I do year end countdowns. You know, at times I do artwork, rap, produce, you know, a lot of promoting and just, you know, do tribute videos for those that have fallen and, you know, talk about multimedia type dude. It's me, you know, you're stuck in the game forever, you know, you got to live it every day. That's what's up, that's what's up. Now, knowing that the South happens to be some of your favorite artists in regards to how they make their music, is there anybody out here right now that you really, really are trying to link up with? Um, at times I try to link up with DJ B Real, but I don't know where his priorities stand because it's like I don't come here too often and it's such a struggle to get off of work right. to get here. So like, you know, just when they keep seeing me come down here, it's like, yeah, I keep going, but I keep missing parts of the puzzle that I need to meet up with this person and that person. So it's like, I wish they would be more considerate with like showing up. I get to meet up with a lot of people at least, but some of those that you gotta keep hitting up. Like, look at me, it's like I'm coming from across the country. You know, and I got a lot of love for you. So make sure you're there for me, you know? Come talk to me when you say you're gonna talk to me. So we're gonna do our best to try to get you linked in with the artists that you're trying to link up with this weekend. When are you going back home? Tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so you guys, if you have not had your opportunity to kick it with them, you're missing out, you'll be headed back home very shortly. When are you coming back? Um, I have a feeling it'll be, at the moment, I got this as the next date. Might be March 6th to March 8th. Okay, so lock that into your calendar, excuse me, calendars, guys. If you have anything to do, Exit out. Those days he'll be down here, he'll have a mic in his hand, he'll have a camera on, interviews, CD promo, anything multimedia, he's your guy. Yeah. And he's not from the South, so he's showing mad love, taking the opportunity to get your music on a whole different platform to whole different audiences. Make sure you tune in with my boy Lucky right here with the antidote.com as he continues to bring the real. Fucking right, fucking right. <laughs> Frankie the Lucky Dog. Big man, you're a supporter, man. Real dude. Real dude. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now let's do so, really. Oh, that's my brother, man. Man, love for a long live so. Yeah, this your boy Joe on the track, man. I'm here with Frankie Lucky Dog holding it down. One love.
Hey guys, it's your girl Tubby of the Nerdy Bear site, kicking it right here with my boy Frankie the Lucky Dog. Make sure you tune in, one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you're not on the wave with the BR music, he's gonna be mad at you. Awesome supporter. Make sure you tune in with him right here. My name is your boy Ray Vix, the one and only representing Black Balloon Records. Shout out to Frankie the Lucky Dog, man. Y'all stay tuned. Time is Lee motherfucking Banks, you hear me, aka Big Geech of the Slum Guard, and I'm in here with Frank of the Lucky Dog, you hear me? Y'all fuck with this dude, man. This dude been supporting Baton Rouge or Louisiana for the longest, man. Like, he been holding down for us for the longest, man, you hear me? Real dude, you hear me? Fuck with him. If he get at you, fuck with him, man, you hear me? Because he been holding down and he scratching for us, man. That's necessary, but that's what we need, you hear me? Shout out to him. Salute. <laughs> What's happening, man? It's Tristan Williams, co CEO of Black Boardwalk Music Group. Right now, you're checking in with Frank the Lucky Dog. You heard me? This boy 10 years deep in, you heard me? He gave us our first review, our first commercial, you heard me? Since the Short Bus Boys days. So we fucking with that 100%, you feel me? Fuck with me. All the way ducked in the corner. That's how I like to be. Frank of the Lucky Dog ducked off in the corner. Checking out with Frank the Lucky Dog. Yeah, we here at YBB Studios. Finna get some work in with my mans right here. Nothing but work, a whole lot of work. Me and Frank, let's go. YBB Studios. What's up, man? It's Jungle Music, Vontae, you hear me? Shout out Frank and Lucky Dog, you me? You know, I'm just supporting little brother. You know, Jungle Music Larry, you hear me? He doing his thing. Jungle Music shit, nigga know how that go. Nigga know what sound. From the streets to the music, nigga know what sound. Got my uncle right there, you know. That's how it's going, man. YBB, Jungle Music, that's what it is. That's how it's going. And you know, the Jungle Music Lair. Shout out to Frank and the Lucky Dog, you hear me? You tuning in, you hear me? You tuning in with the youngin' right now. Come fuck with me, come see how I'm living, you hear me? JMM, YBB, nigga. That's how we do this shit. So where you taking me? To the back interview room coming real soon. YBB Studios, you know. Make beats, interviews, videos, record. Almost finished with it. You know what I'm saying? YBB Studios, Jungle Music Mafia. You know, we're gonna be doing interviews for up and coming artists. Get your beat made, get you a video shot. Yeah, buddy. Now, you said that G Money came here, you know, quite often before he passed? Yeah, G Money like my nephew, man. He used to come here all the time, all all the time to record. We used to work late, late hours. R.I.P. to my nephew, G Money. You know, he legendary. Your name will not die, you know. If I would have known he was like down here, you know, to catch him, like the last time I was down here, I would have hit you up. But I didn't know too much about you at the time. Yeah. Yeah. He used to come in here and work all night. We used to get it in all night. You know, he's one of a kind. You know, he just had that glow about himself. You know? Born in 98, better kid. Bitch, I was born in 98, better kid. Born in 84, better kid. Better kid. Look at it. Flag Street. Read GOC Flag Street. Flag Street. Checking in with Frankie the Lucky Dog, you hear me? HBO Deuce. MEF shit. You know, I got that two sides to a story coming out October 31st. Go fuck with that. You know, all that shit flame, all facts. I don't rap for entertainment. If that's the case, I would have been in a movie, you hear me? But free the big brother GOC. This shit just ain't gonna end like that, you hear me? It just can't let it go like that. I ain't gonna let it ride free my little brother Snoop, you hear me? Shout out to the big brother CEO too, you hear me? Shout out to the hood. Yeah, Shiloh, Flag and Nash, and Maplewood, you know, a nigga been over there. Toast things, bust brains, carry big tools, you hear me? Shout out to G-Thing too, you hear me? It's all love, you hear me? You know, 
came off that three piece, you know. I'm kind of slimming up back out to you, you hear me? Getting back out here to the gutter. Yeah. I'm still with that same shit though, you hear me? I just lay low from a crowd. I just be dipping in it all, you hear me? All that shit, you hear me? What up, sweet bitch, you hear me? Nigga, fuck with you, bitch. I know you over there on that, that motherfucking gin, you hear me? Getting drunk and shit, you hear me? Yeah. But a nigga trying to get it all together, you hear me? It's all trying to take over with that shit though. And shout out to all the niggas that's doing it, you hear me? Doing it big, got all that bread, you hear me? I ain't no hate shit around here, you hear me? You know, I salute a real nigga, you hear me? But I ain't gonna lie. All you bitch ass niggas, you hear me, that's entertaining these people with that shit y'all talking about. Stop that shit, man. This shit ain't funny, man. You hear me? This shit real out here, man. I gotta stop that shit, man. I don't know what happened to the streets when a nigga went laid down, you hear me? But that ain't, that shit ain't cool, man. You hear me? And I'ma bring my own team up, you hear me? I started my own label, you hear me? I got facts on how to start that shit. Shout out to Jill C. Yeah. You know. Go fuck with all that shit I got, you hear me? It's finna be on SoundCloud, you hear me? My mixtapes. Yeah, my shit finna really be surfing, you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Straight pressure shit. PP, man. Oh, we bite when I'm blick it. I invented all that shit, man. Yeah. I like this shit, man. Juan was out this cane. Cocaine heavyweight, you know what I'm talking about? And I'm fucking with my nigga Frank the Lucky Dog. Rest in peace, say the boy Nussa. Let's do it. Man, I got a whole bunch of other shit that's gonna take off, man. We got the CGM clothing line coming. You know what I'm saying? Me and my dog VP, we got the CGM YN. Got them young niggas, you know what I'm saying? We got them. You know, my dog John Doe. You know what I'm saying? You know, my dog John Doe. Uh, see, the streets fuck with me, man. You know, everybody, you, you just see them coming through, man. But, like I said, back, back to the other shit, though. I got the CGNYM. I got uh, my, my CD. My own personal CD, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever, man. Yeah. So, you got Rough and Rugged Chain on. Well, so, tell me about that. Well, you know, my brother was signing Rough and Rugged, man. You know what I'm saying? Said the booty rap some more. He was also, he was signing the D Cell with Nussin now. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace of Nussin. You dig? Uh, you know, I'm just holding it down the way the best way I could. You know what I'm saying? Free Wood. You know? Free Wood. Yeah. So, how you find out about Frankie Rocky Dog? Man, you been fucking, you know, my brother rushed out to you or you rushed out to him, uh, however that shit, that situation went. So I remember I gotta go back to the grind to where it first started at, you know? It's your boy Le Buck, checking out Frank and Lucky Dog. You know, follow him on Instagram. It's up. Turn right onto Florida Boulevard. Continue what? Florida There's nothing Boulevard. there. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Q Red on the motherfucking track. You know I'm fucking with my nigga Frankie the Lucky Dog. Been fucking with him for about 10 years, you hear me? This is one of the only niggas who been supporting a nigga I'm talking about since a nigga starts, since I was about 14, 15, you hear me? So it's been 10 plus years, I take that back. Y'all know what it is, legendary. What makes you continue the consistency? Uh, what makes me continue the consistency is staying in tune with everything, like just staying in, staying in tune with the up and coming rappers, all the up and coming uh, talent potential um, and just being involved in everything that's going on within the city like I don't really too much try to focus on everything that's going on elsewhere like it all everything to me it starts here you know what I'm saying so just paying attention to different people that you know got a little following or got some potential but ain't got the following or just got some talent like that's the that's the that's one of the key things to me or whatever, just staying in tune with everything that's going on, like going to the club, doing homework, watching the club, you know what I'm saying, paying attention to to all the fucking records that's, that just got the club, you know, moving, um, paying attention to the type of records that don't make the club move, watching the people reaction, like all that shit matter, like it's about doing homework. Yeah, shit, yeah. Yeah, now I know we've been connected for a while. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, and this way, that way, and it's like, you know, it's great to reconnect with you. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going to meet you. With yeah, man, up. yeah, so man. So it's like, you know, like, when I first started supporting you, I didn't feel like a celebrity. Like, I felt like I had that kind of dream. Right. But now, like, you know, I live that kind of celebrity. Yeah, and I yeah. can feel it. Right, So, right. like, how do you detect it in me? Um, I mean, honestly, bro, like, from the start, you know, like ten years ago, um, back in two two thousand and seven, uh, 
it's like everything I was doing back then, it's like that you just somehow like was grabbing it, you know what I'm saying, and posting it and supporting it and all that shit back on fucking YouTube. Like, and honestly, it's like people from within the city wasn't even doing the, doing the kind of shit that that you was doing. And I ain't just saying for me, like I'm speaking for like a lot of niggas from within this city. It's like that you was finding people music and posting it and, you know, just pumping it for them. You know what I'm saying? And like just taking, excuse me, taking different, um, taking different, uh, different steps, I guess, like to just put in that effort to just fuck with people from a whole different city, whole different state. Like we, 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 uh, Everybody in Baton Rouge is a different breed, you know what I'm saying? So to just gravitate towards us and just fuck with us off the gate and just, you know, go back to back to back to back to back with just meeting people, talking to people, networking, fucking with them, pumping their music, like, things like that matter, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, to me, it was like, damn, like, dude, dude basically got the, uh, got the potential for to just be something bigger than what he is, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I was... I used to always just tell a couple of my partners that, like, I, I bring up your name, like, it's this dude, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been fucking with the nigga, like, I've been chopping it up with him, chit-chatting with him, woo woo or whatever, but, like, dude been fucking with us, you know what I'm saying? And, like, ain't nobody pay you, ain't nobody ask you to, so it's, like, just the role that you took to just do for us, like, all that shit matter because they got motherfuckers within the city that don't even take that same role, you know what I'm saying, to just help people, basically, from, from, from down here for to get that shit heard, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, like, I double salute you for that. Shit, shit, yeah, I was lucky, you know, because, you know, the job was gotten to me, you know, like, I want, ever since Be Real, like, stopped being connected with me, I got a job, and I made right, $8,000 right. off it so far, you know, and that's kind of part of the celebrity-ness, right. it's like, when it was starting to get to me, and all shorthand and shit, that's where I reached out to you guys on, like, you know, you guys came before the job. Like, you right. know, y'all got, like, something legendary, you know? Isn't there? So it's like, yeah, like, y'all, y'all the leaders, you know? Right. Y'all got me through this shit. What else? What else? Talk to me. Uh, so, you got any, like, projects coming up? Yeah, bro. Um, I got a couple different, uh, Couple of different things I'm 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 involved in uh, and I'm about to be involved in. Um, I can't speak on too too many of them, but I will say uh, you know like I've been talking about dropping a project since fucking 2010, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You know what I'm saying? 17. Um, but you know like I'm I'm at a different space. Uh just on some being creative type shit. So uh I got my own personal project, you know, uh that I'm putting together as we speak or whatever. Um it's basically like a I don't really like to say it like this, but it's like a DJ Khaled project, but just for BR, you know what I'm saying? Uh I got a couple verses from a couple people, uh a couple people that's all that's 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 on a couple of people that got the potential to be on some up and coming niggas who about to read the blow, um. But first and foremost, I got my own artist or whatever. I'm basically gonna introduce him on this project or whatever. Uh, Keys off 38, which two, we got three projects that we working on at one time for him right now or whatever. Um, you know, like that's my main man. That's 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 my dog or whatever. And uh, even if I didn't fuck with him. Like, I feel like even if dude dropped some music, I would still take a big, big, big fucking liking into him or whatever because he that raw. I ain't saying that because that's my partner or none of that. But, like, dude really got his own lane, got his own sound, got his own look. Like, everything he talking about, like, it's facts. Like, it's everything. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I got my own project. I ain't really got no title for it yet or whatever. But that's, that's, that's coming real, real soon. If not by the end of this year, Beginning of next year, guaranteed. Uh, Keys a project. One of the projects gonna be out. Excuse me. Um, before the end of the year out. So y'all be watching for that. Keys off 38. Uh, 
I got some shit with uh with uh Shellwood fucking Martin that we working on. It's, it's gonna be real, real, real nice. Uh, I got a lot of shit coming up, bro. Like honestly, like you know, people be saying this shit, but like I really got my hands tied in some shit. But I can't speak on everything, you know what I'm saying? And there's some shit I don't speak on because if you talk about it too much, it won't happen. You know what I'm saying? But just know, like I'm always, like I'm always gonna be around this bitch. Like I'm always gonna be involved in the something. I'm always have something going on, point blank, period, or whatever. Um, and other than just putting my own personal projects together, you know, I've been fucking recording and fucking mixing to everybody's shit or whatever. So if you need some studio time or whatever, Rules Factory Media right here, you know, also fucking known as Industry Standard Studios, you know what I'm saying? Gus, 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 um, and me, you know, uh, are the top engineers here and we uh, also got an um, engineer by the name of Shane or whatever, he dope as a motherfucker and that nigga make tracks, you know what I'm saying? So. At the end of the day, bro, like, even if I don't do a beat for somebody, like, it's like that I got my motherfucking hands tied into, like, something. You know what I'm saying? Like, if 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 it's from the fucking mixing of a popular song that people might like, like, I'm always involved in something around here. You know what I'm saying? Period. Like, so, I just got a lot of shit going on. Got a lot of shit coming. And, I mean, you know, yeah, like, y'all just stay tuned. Legendary. That's what's up. You got, like, a... A sneak peek of a track that we could hear. <laughs> uh, yeah, like uh, what's, I got something I can let y'all hear right quick. Um, I mean, uh, Suspense is on. nah, uh, I got a record. Um, nigga did this record back in, I won't say like 2000 and. 13, yeah, this was 13, 14, back in 2013, 14. Um, it's, 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 it's old, but that motherfucker's still relevant to this day. Like, put it out right now, that bitch gonna make the club move. Like, I'm a thousand percent confident into saying that. Um, it features Mouse on the track, big, big shout out, uh, Keys Off 38, and myself, um, that bitch mixed down every like that bitch ready like I just ain't dropped it yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause honestly, like I'm like I'm picky, like I'm very very picky. Like I like everything to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? And um, like that's kind of the reason why I ain't done dropped nothing yet because I just want everything to be right. But like a lot of fucking time done passed and I'm just at the point now. It's just like you know, just put that shit out. It's gonna do what the fuck you do. If it go cool, if not cool, like I still got buku more shit to put out. So, uh, yeah, same thing with me with my projects coming up, with the job and everything. Working 50 hours a week on top of this, quite hard, you know. I try to not break any promises. I just try to get to it when I can, you know. Right, right, right. This song here is entitled "In There." Uh, it's just it's 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 some quick, cool, catchy. Be all type shit like just some feel good type shit that's gonna you know make make people people dance and move and all that shit. That bitch, oh, we still talking about the van. And when that thing start kicking in, oh Lord, I I be chilled up, chilled up, I be chilled up, chilled up. Oh, I be chilled up, chilled up. Watch how I get it up. Oh, I be chilled up, I be chilled up, chilled up. Okay. Oh, do it, baby, hit it, baby, stop and take a picture. Why you get a hundred likes? 
when I put you on that M. Fucking right, they getting dumb in this bitch. Cute red on the track, and he running this bitch. Legendary. Start kicking in. And when them things start kicking in. Oh, Lord, I, I be in there. I be in there. Oh, Bobby, in there. That's, that's, fucking, yeah. that's some, you know, but like, like for my personal project, I feel like everybody expect, you know, different type of songs like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about like a nigga got, a nigga got some shit, bro. Like, uh, matter of fact, I got one more. I got one more. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give you a piece of, um. I posted a piece of it on my Instagram and I got a great ass fucking response from it. Um you know uh but I don't want people for to feel like that kind of shit is going to be like my whole project. Yeah. Like cuz it's not like cuz it's a whole bunch of fucking talent around be all like I'm talking about there's so much talent around this bitch like and you know um I feel like everybody motherfucking need an opportunity and a shot. Like, even if you ain't got a name, like, they got people that ain't got no names that's talented. There's some niggas who got names. You know what I'm saying? And I be knowing, like, what little niggas going to, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. Like, um, but, uh, this going to be a, this going to be a fucking another one that's going to be on there. Um, and, 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 and I'm definitely... Definitely sure that uh that this bitch is gonna, you know, get a great, great, great fucking response as soon as I put it out, you know. But I, I'm I'm gonna give y'all a, 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 a real piece, like a piece of this bitch, like And this bitch ain't much uh all the way finished yet either, so Rest in peace, Zoe, man. I miss that nigga, bro. I ain't lying. I miss him, dog. You sound like a Porsche. You sound like money. I'm looking up like fucking niggas. And you hoes. Just bought a look of things. It's like y'all wanted me to go. I can't imagine all the things y'all did behind a nigga back. Like y'all glad a nigga didn't go and I ain't coming back. Shit, I must have been a muscle. Cause when I was there, you nigga showed your ass. And now it's looking like you're scared. Cause I can't believe a nigga ain't dead yet. All you niggas did was cry. Y'all gotta admit it. Yeah, y'all did that. I put my life on the ride for you. I could you forget that. You see that? I wonder when why a nigga did that. Yeah, y'all gotta wait to see that whole thing, man. Um, yeah, it's definitely pure. That 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 there, uh, that's a that's a that's a very very special record to me. Um, you know, uh, at the end of the day, I can't speak for everybody else. I ain't one of them niggas who. You know, I always be with the, you know, that was my dog, and, you know, he fuck with the, 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 like, I knew what it was, that nigga knew what it was, you know, like, both of us motherfucking had a special bond, I used to talk to him all the time, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, you know, this record here is basically like he's speaking from the dead, you know what I'm saying, like, he recorded it uh, back in 2012, uh, June, June or July of 2012, um, and he came in, you know, just just pissed off about something just felt like rapping and he actually freestyled the majority of that song or whatever but he recorded it or whatever and um and he ain't never you know put it out to do nothing with it or whatever and you know big 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 fucking shout out to my dog big j pyrex radio excuse me um you know he ended up you know calling me and telling me about the record and he ended up sending it to me. I heard it. I said, man, give me the session ASAP. Like, get that bitch to me ASAP. Or whatever. He got it to me. I took the vocals. I put my little one-two on it and 
like that bitch gonna be legendary by the time I, you know, finish it all the way and get it mixed and all that kind of shit there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's gonna be something that's on my tape. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be just a, just a bunch of just like it ain't gonna be just no, you know, club shit and like it's gonna be some real legendary shit. Like you know, I I I got a couple features and and then too like I ain't going, like. Everything that's going to be on this project is going to be from niggas within the state. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like our state, like, is just full of talent. You know what I'm saying? But everybody can't get their shit together and come together and get this money. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you know, like, it's a couple of niggas from different places, you know, that I fuck with that follow me. I follow them. You know, I chop it up with a couple of niggas, you know, from time to time. But I feel like, you know, like our our fucking city and state just don't get that get that just do basically just the way that we post to. You know what I'm saying? So, um point is basically like everything the thing that's gonna be on this tape is gonna be from people from within this state, like people that got some talent. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I I ain't I ain't just fucking with niggas who I already own and all that shit. Like nah, like they got other people too that you know like that's just as raw as the niggas that's on you know what i'm saying and um and i mean like this bitch gonna make some uh, this bitch gonna make some noise like i'm 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 certain about that point blank period hands down yeah Shit, yeah yeah like you were saying we need to come together you know like me coming down and like doing all the promoting and supporting and everything that i've been doing mm-hmm. like to me like that's like my attempt at trying to bring people together and shit. Like yeah, that. man. Um, I'm gonna just say this, bro. Like, at the end of the day, my nigga, like, I feel like I can't speak for the whole state. I'm gonna just speak for Baton Rouge because this is all I know. This is the only place I done been, you know, my 27 years of being here. You know what I'm saying? Like, our problem is, like, and like even Booster set it up in the interview we did, like, like people really be motherfucking hypnotized with hate. Like it's like it's hate. Like it be bullshit hate. Like for no reason hate. Like this nigga be worrying about, you know, this dude over here fucking this hoe, or you know that nigga got that bag. How the fuck that nigga get that bag like that? That bitch ass nigga ain't you know supposed to be on like that. Like that ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Like man, your business. Like every nigga be out just. Talking about, you know, that they tend to their own business and this and that, but they always got something to say about the next nigga. Like that ain't minding your business, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit fake, and 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 that's our problem. And I ain't speaking directly to no nigga like that's in general. Like period. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we got that shit bad. Like don't nobody want the next one for the half fucking more than them. You know what I'm saying? Like they got motherfuckers that's on, like that could just know. That this nigga up over here like got the potential and could do this and woo woo and instead of trying to trying to basically motherfucking put them up in a up in a better place like they gonna shit on them they ain't gonna fuck with them fuck that nigga like that shit stupid like that shit stupid to me you know what I'm saying like point blank period so I ain't trying to I'm not saying that I'm trying to just be that nigga that, you know, just bring people together because that shit ain't going to never happen because at the end of the day, everybody grown, everybody make their own fucking decisions. But at the same time, anything I'm fucking with and involved in, like, I'm going to fucking make it work, like, point blank, period. Like, I don't give a fuck what nigga don't like it and fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, hands down, like, you know, but at the end of the day, like, like our issue, like, it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And this shit going to just keep going and going and going and going and going because the, cause the, cause the fucking, um, because the generation that's coming up, it's like they not being taught the game right. You know what I'm saying? Then it's older niggas who out here that's still dumb that, that be talking about being a real nigga and woo woo, but they still be on messy bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they not giving the nigga the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like, that shit is what's gonna keep us under. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, us as a city got all kind of attention and spotlight on us. You know what I'm saying? And we fucking it up like every second. Like, it's getting fucked up from petty shit, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, 
it's a different game from this music shit and street shit. Period. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, my nigga, like, can't no nigga be no artist and be no gangster. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing for the, you know, carry, um, for the just carry yourself with respect and morals and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But be all the way up in the streets and try to all the way make music. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, it's, it's, it's been very few that's done did both and done, you know, been straight. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, like, it can't happen. You know what I'm saying? And these niggas got to understand that. Like, these niggas got to understand the business, man. Like, this shit a business. Like, if it's about money, go get the money. Like, fuck what this nigga doing and got going on. If it ain't got nothing to do with you, if it ain't hurting you and all that shit, like, fuck it. Like, what you worry about it for? Yeah. But, you know, everybody don't think like that. Everybody don't move like that. And, you know, like, at the end of the day, I'm not worrying about what everybody got going on. But if I'm fucking with something, like, I'm going to make sure that it work out. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Ain't nobody that's going to care about motherfucking making it happen for me. So, you know, but I'm still that nigga that even though I'm trying to make it happen for me, like, I don't mind putting this nigga up in a situation and, you know what I'm saying, like, just doing for other motherfuckers that'll get them up in the situation too. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's on them for to keep it real up on the back burner. It's a few niggas, you know what I'm saying, that I, I done did I done did a bunch of shit for and like them niggas you know ain't 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 keep a gusto with me, you know what I'm saying? But just being the person I am, like everything I do, it be genuine. It be from the heart, like it be all love, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't mad about it, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's a couple niggas that some hoes that just Ain't keep it gangster with me, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, like, you know, like more power to them, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing to be around this bitch tripping and mad and, like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, everything I did, it was always pure. It was always genuine. And everybody know that about me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't be no motive to it. I don't be trying to, you know, just do no extra slick shit to, nah, like, if I'm doing something or I'm fucking with something, like, that's me genuinely fucking with it. Know what I'm saying? Now, if they don't keep it real up on their end, like, that's on them. Know what I'm saying? Like, I got to keep moving. Like, and you know, like, that's just what it is. So, excuse me. Like, point is, like, even though I'm doing for me, like, I don't mind doing for this nigga and that nigga and that nigga. Like, if it's going to motherfucking help them get up in a better better spot. Know what I'm saying? But keep it real with a nigga on the back burner. You know, legendary. Oh, uh, yeah, shit. If y'all ain't done checked it out yet, go on YouTube. I think the link's still in my bio, but go on YouTube, which you follow me too, at QRED, Q-R-E-D, on the track, O-N-T-H-E-T-R-A-C-K, Instagram. But uh, go on YouTube, type in Keezy, K-E-E-Z-Y, off 38, Lifetime. Go check out that video. This is my dog's first video ever in life. Like, this is the first video we ever shot on him. You know what I'm saying? Um, that bitch got 52,000 uh, views or whatever for to say that that's his first video. He ain't never done dropped nothing. Like, that's a good fucking response. You know what I'm saying? And, like, this shit just about to get way raw and bigger. Like, like I'm talking about, like, like, this nigga really going to stand on his own. Period. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that he raw than this nigga and that nigga, but that nigga up in his own lane. You know what I'm saying? And he can stand with anybody. Hands down. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all get a chance, go and check out that uh, video. Uh, get a chance. Type in Q Red on the track. Type in Q-Red on the track or uh, go watch my last interview and be making video, you know. I think I did, yeah, I did that in 2015. Um, I got the motherfucking legendary uh, gear coming real, 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 real soon. Um, shit, just be on the... Be on the watch out, be on the lookout 
for everything that I got going on, you know what I'm saying? Because I got some shit that's about to be going on uh, that's up in the works as we speak. Um, and shit, you know, to, to, to every to every single person that's done never fucked with me, supported me, I genuinely, from my heart, appreciate y'all. You hear me? I started making beats when I was 13. My only goal back then was to ever just get hurt. Like, it was to just get hurt up in my city. Two years later, I got hurt, like, and I was coming with them bitches. You know what I'm saying? Now, fast forward, like, hands down, like, I'm one of the top five names that come up in the state present day. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's a, that is a blessing to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I ain't think, you know, I was going to be motherfucking viewed up in the light that I am. You know what I'm saying? So I genuinely appreciate all my supporters, um, everybody that's done ever fuck with me. If you don't fuck with me, you don't like me, that's cool, too. I appreciate you, too. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit just really, really just motivate a nigga to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want you bitches to see me, hands down. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, just shout out to everybody, bro. Um, and, you know, just, 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 just be on the... Be on the lookout because I got a lot of shit coming. Period. Legendary. Q Red on the track. And shout out to my nigga Frankie the Lucky Dog. You hear me? Been fucking with him, still fucking with him, gonna be fucking with him. Period. Yeah, so I might I might give Frankie some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just all the way exclusive that only he got. You know what I'm saying? So y'all fuck with him. Y'all, you know, motherfuckers subscribe to his channel, all that shit. Follow him. I just want to say, too, you know, shout out to everybody that's doing something around this bitch. Like, if you working and you doing something and you progressing, you know what I'm saying, and you making things happen, shout out to you. Like, all that hating shit, man, I don't hold my nuts on no nigga, you hear me? Like, it's so much potential and talent around this bitch, and it's so much money for a nigga to get, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to everybody from Baton Rouge that's, you know, in the game, doing something, up and coming up in the game, trying to do something, whatever. Like, if you being busy and you working, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? And I also want to, uh, I want to send a motherfucking rest in peace to Zoe, G Money, Austin on the track, Ready, um, both of my nephews that I lost, my pops, uh, and yeah, bro, you know, legendary Q Red on the track, you hear me? Louisiana trip number three, October 16, 2017. Speed the bird. Speed the bird with me. We're just cruising around. Just gonna pull up on whoever. Billy Jordan, you know, out that block, you know. Shout out to you, know. Frankie the Lucky Dog, you know, Bees and Birds, you know, I'm out that lane, you know, block shit. You know, it's dumb over here. You hear me? Come fuck with me, man. You know, everybody know me, man. Nigga know me, man. I'm the joy, man. Nigga know me, man. Sick shit. You know, get at me, man. You know, block NT, man. You know, free all my niggas, you know, free that block, you know, free the baby, free Von Tees, you know, free Lil Martin, free Rico, you know, free everybody, you know, free Romac, you know, free everybody, you know, yeah. Toilet over here, dumb shit, get at me. Busy. You know, shout it's out to my dog, nice. Beezy, though. It just, it, it's real over here. You know, Beezy Bird, you know what I'm saying, 100. Shout out to everybody, shout out to my dog, Be the Don. Shout out to El Bando Bird, you hear me? Recipe Disco Early, everybody, you hear me, you know? Shout out to Cartel Drill, you know what I'm saying? Curate on the track. We looking on that single for me and Lil on the Champ coming out soon, called Bag Up, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? You know, we just doing our thing. Whole lot of lame shit going on, you heard me? Rest in peace, Scooter, man. You know we can't. Third aid, man. Everybody, heard me? You know, we just really keeping it going. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil Nunu. He doing this thing over there, that dirty island in T. They going to grind him and his, his little artist, man. You know what I'm saying? They doing their thing, too, you heard me? So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody eating. We all doing our thing. Shout out to Carl Wayne. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? We doing our thing. You hear me? Everybody saluting everybody that we eating. NFL you feel plug. me? NFL plug game over there holding it down. The millionaires, the millionaire way. Gabino, you know, big Gabino. Everybody, you know, it's up. It's really up. You hear me? And that's what it is. Bring it to Lucky Dog. Bow. It's money, babes. You know what it is. Civil even landlord. Oh, he came on G's all day, nigga. One shot to my dog, Lucky Dog. We state to state, block to block, trapping, getting it in. You hear me? Got my dogs in the cup with me, nigga, from Guardia to OAK to them three. We get money.
This nigga came all the way from up north to fuck with us down deep, dirty south in Baton Rouge. We go show him how we living, man. You know what it is. Number real shit fucking with us, nigga. You hear me? Watch the movement. One shot to my whole movement, you heard me? You know how I started. One shot to Badass and the NT Click, nigga. It's OAKMGs, you know what I'm doing. I'm CEO and bossing up right now, too. I got my homie behind me. I got my niggas doing their thing. Everybody grinding, nigga, you know? From sun up to sun down, we on a fucking come up. Believe that. Just watch this major movement we finna pull off, nigga. You heard me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? And what's that? And this beat of done and young done. NFL plug game millionaire. And you checking out Frank of the Lucky Dog, man. We live in Baton Rouge 225. Y'all know how we rockin', baby. Salute. Don't think it's easy to get a track. Completed. This fucking shit's bothering me. Not awake. Four hours later. I'm the one that fucking stayed up. Didn't get sleep. I'm fucking awake. Moving around. Fucking doing my shit. I just hit end and I just hit redial and you just go and pick up when you fucking go and pick. You know, I'm strictly about my business. Like, you can't be fucking doing this, especially when I'm fucking, like, I'm only here a couple days. Like, not here that often. It's a fucking opportunity. Fucking, it could get you money. Like, what the fuck? Redial! Like, I tried everything I can do just to get a fucking track. 99 seconds long, just to rap on a fucking track. There's nothing I can do. When people just fucking avoid me, there's nothing else I could do but just to hate myself, you know. Uh, I try to love myself, but I think I hate myself at the same time. I don't know what it is with people, but... Oh, fuck. Why? Fucking why? All right, this Bone, DCL fam, checking in with my boy Frankie. We've been knowing him about, what, 10 strong. Way back when my brother Nuss was doing this thing. You know. So you Nuss his brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Nuss's brother. My boy Frank's still holding it down for everybody, man. He's still in the hood now. Yeah. He's in the hood right now. Yep, so when you get a chance, holler at my boy. What up, world? You heard me? This is HB, head boy. Badass Entertainment, original Dun Dada, problem child NT, you hear me? He checking out Frank of the Lucky Dog, man. You hear me? Been fucking with the movie, you hear me? The original nigga, been fucking with the kid campaign, you hear me? Been rocking with me a long time, you hear me? Dude know his shit. I fuck with him. Streets fuck with me. So you fuck with him. You hear me? That's what it's hitting for. What the fucking deal is, you know what I'm saying? Fresh out. You know, been home about three months, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Dropped that click. It is what it is. Just dropped on the tent. Me and Loco. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what's happening with me. Y'all know I've been holding it down, man. This is the bigger than route one, two, three. And you know, we got that click Street Kings when I was back with Badass Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Street Kings. You hear me? Well, we got like, we got like, got like four records with Bulls. Four CDs, you know what I'm saying? So I've been doing my I've been doing my shit. I've been getting it in, you hear me? And you know, nigga back again. Second time around, you did. That's what it's hitting for. Go get that motherfucking click. It is what it is. Hashborn Loco. All over the motherfucking web, you hear me? Pull up, you hear me? You can get it from me. Real street nigga. And you hear me? And be looking out on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, man, heads, boy, fuck the industry. Thanksgiving Day, dropping, you hear me? And, you hear me, that click, it is what it is right now once again, man. Fuck with the boy. I fuck with who fuck with me, you hear me? Frank of the Lucky Dog. Fuck. Frank of the Lucky Dog here. Just randomly stopped by. One more visit before I go back. Here's the, the cheese big up. dog from the last oh, trip. Like, oh, oh man, yeah, man. Like, come yeah. on with all this. Yeah, Celeb Legend. Tuh. Yeah. Yeah, all right, I'll take that. Tuh. Yeah. I accept that. Yeah, see now, 
racks. It's all I like, you know, pretty much supported big time since my last trip down. You know, Rax has a lot to offer. Yeah. You know, so, you know, and you, and you keeping it going, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, which is good. Like something, it's just the way you come with shit and just, uh, you know, I don't know, like your character and everything, I guess just really captivate, captures me, you know, and that's why I support it in a huge way. Appreciate that. Real talk, man. <laughs> yeah. I real appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, like fucking... You know, it's funny because, like, you know, they'll be, like, at the job, like, they call the, I don't know why fucking Roger calls the trays racks. They ain't send the racks back. I'm like, racks? <laughs> racks, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, he right here. They sent them here. No, bro. With Frank Lucky Dog. Oh, shout out to uh, Frank Lucky Dog. Shout yeah. out to uh, Kale. Kale. Kale fans. Hey, <laughs> Ready Committed TV. Yeah. You know, shout out to uh, Go Trey. Which I tried to catch up with. Who, Gotra? Yeah, didn't right. get him. Like, yesterday I heard he was at a club or whatever, which I stopped there about you midnight. I went there about midnight, and I said to him, like, before I freaking fucking, you know, here's $10. I'm like, you know, is Gotra in there? And they're like, who, who? I'm like, look at the he flyer. <laughs> I'm like, look. I don't think you're saying his name right. I'm like, look. Oh, was there a Gotra in there? No. Oh, he ain't made it. I'm like, I guess he's not there. So what time you had went? I went about midnight. All right, they probably been there. Oh, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, cause like that I went good. like about nine, and I was like, that's kind of early. I don't think yeah. any of them are there. Yeah. yeah, ain't too many Baton Rouge clubs you can go to that early. Yeah, there's a couple of them, but shit. Yeah, not too many clubs seem kind of way down a little bit. It's just a couple places. Yeah, that'd be popping. So what do you got planned? I know you still got the great minds on the way. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be dope. <laughs> I ain't lying, that gonna be it. I mean, you know, that's a that's a that's I think the people are gonna think that's a class they're gonna feel that's a classic. Yeah. I ain't lying, because I like that. I ain't lying. You gotta support the music, like I say. Yeah, you, know, you gotta say. support who supports you. It could you. be here today and not tomorrow, so right. I just wanna keep supporting it. Hey, you gotta support who supports you. That's one thing that, that I stress. Period, you know what I'm saying? If 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 they show you your hand, if they show you their hand, that's their hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. If they ain't supporting you, man, pay attention. So how do you, like, make yourself the, like, character you are that, like, you're, like, you're unique? Like, how do you make that versus everybody else? I just be me, man. You just be you. I, I mean, just be shit. me, too, too. You know, shit, I mean, because they got a lot of people that be not trying to be other people. I don't think it's there. I just think it's people be paying attention to what the wave is and what's working for other people. Yeah. Not realizing that they can bring something epic to the game if they only be they self, you know? Yeah. And or like, try to find their own niche. Yeah. Just right, just right from the heart, you know? They got, you know, every song ain't going to be from the heart unless you, you know, then, then, you know, work hard or kept practicing at writing from the heart. A lot of people can't do that. Yeah. But when you when you find your artist that can write from the heart on anything, they'll keep a guarantee. I can't write from the heart on anything, at least at least at this moment, you know. Yeah, and like, you know, since my last trip, like a lot of people I be talking to, like, you know, coworkers, whatever, I have that racks in the background, just like I'm having a great time. It's like Benjamin Rax. I'm like, in due time. I'm like, you know, all this other shit. And I'm just like, you know, look at me. Like, you know, I'm listening. I got some new ones I got to send you to the email, yeah. too. They, them yeah. dudes, man. That be dope, yeah, they man. loved, like, the other day. I was like, you know, in the car with me. Yeah. You know, like, I'm like, yeah, vibing I'm off that they're shit. like, yeah, you know. I like that. I appreciate that. I be smiling every time I see that shit. Yeah, got to support you know your boys. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. shit, to you, man, shit. It's hard. I mean, shit, it's Baton Rouge, but I mean, any support you can get, especially outside of Baton Rouge. You know, it, you know, it, it ain't normal for to have support in Baton Rouge if you ain't doing what's, you know, um, what's, what's pro promotionally uh, best for your career sometimes. You know, a lot of people go against the grain, their own grain, just doing what, what'll be uh, better for their career, but it don't work. It shouldn't work like that. And you know that's the system that's that's been created, or what the system then formed into, or changed into. So 
I just say, man, just be yourself, man, because you can bring you can bring a new lane to the game. Most you definitely. know, you just got to keep pushing. You know, yeah. everybody ain't gonna pay attention at first. Yeah, you know? I definitely respect your music ethic, you know, at all times. You know, you look like you ain't slowing down anytime soon. So I like, got a uh, video finna drop. It's called uh, uh, <laughs> Can't Wait. <laughs> it's nice, though. It's a nice song. It, you know, it's laid back. But it's called Can't Wait. You know, it's like a motivational song. It, well, at least it motivate me, you know. Cause, you know, that that's one of the songs, you know, that I, I wrote from the heart, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, another song I wrote from the heart was uh, Greatness. You know, that greatest, yeah. greatest. That was the, uh, that was a nice song, you know. Yeah, shit, shit. You got anything else to say before we wrap up the trip? Shit. What I got to say? Yeah. I always do right. Always do right. I always do what you gotta do. Always do what you gotta do. And don't take no shit. And try to <laughs> not take no shit. Uh, don't take it. Don't take it. If, if somebody bring you shit, you walk away. Get the fuck from around, man. A lot of people don't realize how much control they got over the bullshit they put themselves in. You can you can see some shit from a mile away and ignore that shit. You know, a lot of people don't know about this army. Man, you see so you feel something, you see something or something talk to you and say, get the fuck. Or leave, or I should go right now, or I feel, you know, a lot of people ignore that and get caught up and don't even, and, and get caught up in the situation so much they don't even look at what happened or what could have been prevented. Yeah. But do what you got to do. Stay tuned. Winners the rise. Frank the Lucky Dog, you know. a the Committee. Right. Benjamin right. Ray. Shout out to all my people if I ain't say it. I ain't say a lot of people. I just said Trey, uh, she ain't care, uh. <laughs> Shout out to all the niggas that I fuck with. Uh, Ten Hundred Gang, you know, Lulu. Shit, uh, I don't know. There's so many niggas I be fucking with though, with this rap shit. Money Boy, I fuck with him too. You know, I've been fucking with him a lot lately and shit. Kill 1000 in the building. Fucking with my dog Frankie once again. He done pulled back up on me, you heard me? Shit. I'm still to it, man. I'm still at it, you know what I'm saying? Dropping, you heard me? Shit, I got a lot of shit popping. Kel Films, go check that out. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Kel1000. Follow me on Instagram, shit, at Kel6 Spit. You know what I'm saying? Me and my dog Rex about to drop that motherfucking great mind. Ooh, I'm telling you, that bitch gonna go hard. Be a roll from front to back. Bitch a classic. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I got my, uh, time to use my Gil Part 2 coming out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna stop, bro. Then I'm gonna work on, a, you know, my album, my debut. You know what I'm saying? Well, so you're shit. Keeping the consistency. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna keep it coming. Keep grinding. I'm gonna keep you it know, coming, man. Like, I gotta try to, you know, stay creative. You know what I'm saying? So like, what keeps you grinding? You know, say like for your age, and I'm gonna use your age as an example because there's somebody the same age as you that I'm kind of like trying to uplift a lot. Right. And I'm like, you come on, you're still young, you know, you still got some of that. Right. You're talented. So like what makes you have the drive, you know? Man, I love doing it. And I'm good at it, man. It's it's a gift, man. Just taking them up just the creative process of it. You know what I'm saying? Taking a, a tick, a drum, putting some instruments in it. And then you put your vocals on it. Man, you created something from a tick. You know what I'm saying? So I just love the whole creation process of the shit, Jerry. You know that's what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. I love doing this shit. You know, since my uh, last trip here, you know, Rax and you, you know, been just showing y'all like ooh ooh love, you know, just y'all music, you know, got me through them times as always, you know. Like right. when I was telling everybody I was coming down here, I had to do it with two AM. Yeah. Like 50 more days. It's up there. It's, it's up, up there. there. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm like, this yeah. is my answer to like saying I'm taking days off. Yeah, you got right. 2 a.m. Right, <laughs> right. That bit came out good, man. You know what I'm saying? When me and Rats get the yo, it's over. Yeah. We're going to jail. We're going to make a classic every time. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. But I've been doing my documentaries too. You know, I got the Hood Legends. You know what I'm saying? Go check that out on YouTube. Kale Space 1000 in the search. You know what I'm saying? Documentaries, man. I'm thinking about movies. Man, I ain't gonna stop, man. I ain't lying. I'm about to use my gift to the fullest. And what else you got, like, you know, as far as, like, anything else you want to say? Man, shit. Shout out to motherfucking CEO Jiggy Joe. Free that nigga GOC. Shout out to motherfucking uh, Moneybag. 
Rest in peace, little handy. And cool. Oh, uh, shit, I'm coming, man. Kill 1000. Fuck with me. What up, Frank? Lucky dog. Dodo, baby. Lucky dog. Shit sounds nice, you know? Like. Classic sounds and like Dodo like intro here. Right I'm like. What it do, Frank? Let's get lit. I probably smoke a three times on the edible tip. What a drink. Where the drink go? Where the tabs at? On that edible tip. Wow. Holy shit. From PA to LA, it's been a long time coming. My fucking production is like nuts and intense and like drifty and like 307. Yeah, you know, you know, like, so far it out the mud at all times. Yeah, you know, like a dog flow, man. Fuck him, right? What's up? What's up? Yeah. It was like, whew, that is like, that's some shit right there, like, that really is, like, it's fucking awesome, oh my god, like, December 24, 2017 at 3.07 p.m., so no, no, fresh out the dungeon, and intro, intro, yeah, 5.0, like, I gotta, like, listen to that again, like, what was, like, the four, Fucking drowning and then fresh out the dungeon intro and then the wall we dream and so like it's fucking so fucking nice slow down slow down oh my god taking this whole thing like but it too, man. Just get lit. I'm fucking gonna pick that up. Oh, Edible cut. He's a dry cat. Where the tab's at? Oh, look okay. at <laughs> Fucking. Don't all got in. Yeah. Don't all. It's gonna be love one up after this one. No I'd be solving the problems because, you know, like, I have the power to make dreams come true. Believe that. Yeah, yeah, lucky lucky dog dog and woo! Fucking shit. Fucking shit. Shit is so fucking awesome. Oh my god. Look at it. I'm just gonna keep flying it and flying it and flying it and fl I'm flying the shit out of it. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's, a, it's trippy with this fucking dodo track on. Slowly getting there. To Take a look at the wall. Air back. 